Thank you. Thank you. We're in the third inning of the greatest economic and technological transformation in the history of our country. And who are we blaming? Immigrants. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. And what we have to do is we have to wake up our fellow Americans to the fact that it is not immigrants that are causing these economic problems. It's the Amazon black hole. It's technology advancing to a point where more and more of us are going to have a harder and harder time making ends meet. one state passed a dividend where now everyone in that state gets between one and two thousand dollars a year no questions asked and what state is that Alaska yeah most of you are like Alaska <laughs> like what Alaska and how do they fund it oil. oil and what is the oil of the 21st century technology data AI self-driving cars and trucks what they did for the people of Alaska with oil we will do for you and all Americans with technology money this is the path forward. Now, if you've heard anything about me, you've heard that there's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. <laughs> and all of those things are true. <laughs> we need to reform our immigration system. Yesterday, I proposed a people first immigration plan. I don't buy the BS that women and children and families coming to our southern border pose a national security threat to the United States of America. I don't believe that they are criminals. I don't believe that they should be treated as criminals. I believe that we need to repeal Section 1325 of the Immigration and Nationality Act, that we need to stop family detention in this country, that we need to reunite the little children who have been separated from their families. We need a 21st century version of the Marshall Plan for Central America and Latin America so that people can find safety and opportunity there in their home country instead of having to knock on the doorstep of the United States and both of us benefit.